Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, or at least a knife video for that matter. And I thought I'd just throw this one out there because uh, I have this pretty nice knife with me today. And um, so yeah, here it goes. So uh, yeah, this is the Spyderco Gil Bradley. It's not a new knife, obviously. It's been out for a while, but um, uh, I have this in for a friend. Uh, I'm sharpening it for him, so I got a chance to kind of play with it a bit and handle it. And, I guess I just thought I'd give you guys some my opinion and uh, just I guess an overview obviously it's not a full review because I haven't really carried this knife much or whatnot but uh, overall impressions are really good this knife is um it's got great fit and finish it's coming out of uh, Taichung Taiwan so they're uh, that Spyderco factor is responsible for knives like the, the Southern in the background here as well as the uh, Spyderco Techno and whatnot and they all have uh, impeccable fit and finish and this one is um, it's up there, you know, with them. So overall ergos on the knife are really nice. Uh, you've got this choil here, you know, a bit of jimping on the back. And I like how you can also kind of choke up like this and really, you know, do some work if you need to. But um, yeah, it's a bit heftier for an EDC choice. But uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. This knife is, um, it's very, it feels very durable, you know. Um, so I think for a bit more heft it definitely feels like a knife that can get some work done and this is the uh, later version which does have the uh, I think you can see it there the skeletonized uh, stainless steel liners so it is a bit lighter than the first one that came out but um, yeah overall re really nice knife um, I, I found the look of this knife a little weird when I first saw it but uh, as I inspected it a bit more watched more videos about it and um, and now that I got to handle it, um, it's kind of grown on me, and it's very nice. Um, so yeah, not much else to say, but I mean, yeah, got a nice blade shape, got that hollow grind, uh, CPM M4 steel. So um, I guess some people might see that as a drawback because it's not a stainless steel. Um, so it will rust easily if you don't care for it, and um, it will take on a patina if you you know cut food and stuff with it. Then not necessarily a bad thing. And there's other stuff you can do to restore it, right? As you can see, this knife is very well used by its owner. In fact, um, I think he's... Um, the owner, my friend, he's relatively new to knives. So he didn't realize that this was a high-carbon non-stainless steel. And um, I think he used it in the rain. And he didn't really wipe it off after. So it was quite... Um, it got quite rusted over. And it needed some cleaning and some TLC. So um, I actually took the knife apart for him, cleaned out the internals, re-lubed in whatnot, and it's um, it's really smooth now. Yeah, action on this knife is actually really smooth. Like, it just flies open. Thumb flick it. Middle finger flick it. Oops. Fail, fail, fail. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, it's got that uh, Spyderco, I think the uh, what they call the hourglass pocket clip. So, um, and it's got that nice finish on it. What's interesting about this knife is, um, it's, it seems like a knife that you can do a lot of work with, but at the same time, it looks really nice because it's got the carbon fiber, the, um, satin finish with the nice grind lines on there and the nice, um, you know, Spyderco pocket clip. So to me, if I had this knife, I'd be a little, um, wary on heavy, using it heavy, which you probably, you probably can, but I don't know. I tend not to like to mess up my nice looking knives, but anyways. That's not to say it's not capable. So yeah, um, I think some people have talked about how the lo the lock bar here. If you look at it this way, it's you know it's completely flush. There's no cutout for you to get at the um, the lock bar from either side. It's like yeah, completely flush with the the liner on the other side and the scale. So I think some people have kind of said that it's a little hard to disengage a lock bar, which. I think, I guess it can be a little bit if you compare it to like Spyderco Southern, see how there's like a huge cutout here for you to get at to um, disengage a lock bar. But the Gale Bradley doesn't have that. But I mean, it's not, I don't find it difficult. You just kind of, for me, I just kind of press my thumb against it, like here, and just press, and then you can disengage it. I think what's happening is, you know, you know we knife addicts tend to play with our knives and open them and close them like, you know, a few hundred times a day. So if you do that, yeah, it gets a little annoying and it wears on your thumb. But, you know, that's not really what this knife is meant for. Well, you know, 
most knives aren't really meant for playing, even though we do do that with them. It's meant more for work, right? And I think the logic behind this um, flush liner or was that um, so when you're using the knife, you don't have any chance of moving the liner over and disengaging the knife. Not that that really happens, but you know, I can see the logic. And also what's interesting about this knife is the, um, the carbon fiber scale is it's kind of like slightly shadow boxed from the, um, the liner so it's not you know flush with it and I think the logic was that I think according to the um, interview I saw with Gail Bradley was that the um, it kind of creates like a step right so if the liners here and then the scale comes out a bit it kind of makes it a little more ergonomic that way and I guess it does feel a little more ergonomic but I guess they could have maybe rounded the scales a bit. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it, it creates a nice d different look to it, if anything. And um, also these liners, the um, the edges of these liners were, I think, given a pretty nice polish. So it's actually um, quite a beautiful knife. Yeah. So, um, I think that's all I really have to say. Um, yeah, overall, just a nice knife. I think it's a great option for your EDC, especially if you... Um, use your knife quite a bit more than just for cutting tape and paper and opening letters and whatnot. But overall, pretty sweet knife. So um, that's about it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, at least a little bit. But um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Right? Thanks for watching.